What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. And if you're not, thank you for coming back. I'm Becca and here on my channel, I cover all things fitness and fashion and give you my honest review. Today's video is going to be a Lululemon haul featuring all of my most recent purchases and a lot of new arrivals and perfect items for the summer. One of the new arrivals that I have today is the Hottie Hot Special Edition short. So I am super excited to talk about those. And before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. And and if you like my channel and as always please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below i also linked everything that i'm talking about in the description below so you can click on it and it'll take you directly to the website all right let's get into the haul i'm going to start with the first item that i'm wearing right now this is the invigorate tank if you have been watching my channel for a while you know that i am obsessed with this tank top as soon as lululemon releases a new color I purchase it. I have this in a size four. It is very true to size to me. I really like this top because I feel like it has great coverage in the front and I feel like it's very flattering on. As far as sizing goes, I would stick with your true size if you have an A or B cup size. If you have a C cup or higher, I would definitely size up one size. I will say that this tank top is intended for a B and C cup size. So if you are having troubles finding a Lululemon tank top that has enough coverage in the front, I definitely recommend this one. And like I said, just size up one size. And interesting enough, I used to be obsessed with the Align tank. I used to purchase all the colors and I love them. And then they came out with the Invigorate tank. And now I'm not super crazy about the Align tank just because I feel like this tank top is more flattering than the Align tank. And I feel like with this one, I could wear it for more. So it's more versatile to me versus the Align tank. And I'm that type of person that when I really like an item, I continue to purchase more colors just because I usually wear it a lot and I can justify purchasing more colors. So Lou Lemon released two new colors in the Invigorate tank recently and not only was it scream green but they also released the graphite gray color and this is poolside. I've already worn this a few times now and actually I've worn this a few times too. So yeah I have three new Invigorate tanks here and I think I have almost every single color now. Okay the next item that I have is a pair of Hottie Hot High Rise shorts. These are four inches. I personally prefer the four over the two and a half but if you like a short or short they have that length option i purchased these in a size six i always size up one size in the high rise and the hottie hots it is the perfect fit for me so i personally would recommend sizing up one size in these shorts and i purchased them in scream green i love this color and i wasn't sure if i was going to like it just because i don't really like neon colors but this to me is not like a super bright neon green it's just a really nice in between now these are just the regular hottie hot high rise these are not the special edition ones i will talk about the special edition ones next but this is what the front looks like they have a draw cord where you can tighten the waistband and i usually use that just a little bit and then it has a built-in liner it is the same color as the short it has a mesh panel and reflective detail on the side they're very lightweight short they're in that swift fabric they're extremely comfortable these are supposed to be high rise and I've mentioned this before on my channel. For me, they're not high rise. I would say they're more mid rise, like they go right to my belly button. So I wouldn't really consider these a high rise short, but I do like the overall fit. I like the leg opening because they're not too tight. I like to wear these for basically everything in the summer. I like to wear them casually. I would definitely run in these. I would do any type of sport in these. So these are very versatile to me. I will also say that with this color, I was a little concerned that it was going to be a little bit sheer, but I do not have that issue at all. Now, I feel like if they are kind of tight on you, you may be able to see the liner through, but I personally cannot see the liner when I have them on. So I love this color so much, so I would highly recommend these shorts and definitely in this color. Moving on to the Hottie Hot High Rise Short Special Edition. When they first came out with these, I saw them on the website and I was curious, but they were $78. And I was like, okay, I don't know if they're that special special for $10 more because I think the regular Hottie Hots are $68. So I couldn't really justify to purchase it online, but then I went into my local Lululemon and I saw them and then I thought I would try them on 
and I actually really like them. They only came out with these shorts in one color, and that is Scream Green. So when I purchased them in store, I was like, okay, I need to decide if I want to keep these special edition ones or the regular Hottie Hots, because obviously I don't need two pairs of shorts that are Scream Green, or maybe I do. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, I purchased these in a size 6. As far as sizing goes, I tried these on in a size 4, 6, and 8, because you just really never know when they come out with a new short. So starting with the four, they were too tight. So I would not recommend sticking with your true size. As far as the size eight goes, they were a little bit too big. So I probably would not recommend sizing up two sizes, but the size six was perfect. So I would recommend sizing up one size in these shorts. So I'm going to talk about the details first before I show you kind of the comparison of the two shorts. So these are four inches and they only came out with these shorts in one length, which I was happy with because I prefer the four. And these are supposed to be a high rise fit. As far as the rise, these are a true high rise. These are definitely higher than the Hottie Hot shorts. As far as the fabric goes, this is still in the Swift fabric, but this fabric does not feel the same as the regular Hottie Hots. This fabric on the special edition feels like the Find Your Pace fabric. So if you're familiar with the Find Your Pace short, that's what the fabric feels like for these. And actually I read a review on the Lululemon website that this is a combination of the Find Your Pace and the Hottie Hot short. And I would definitely agree because the similarities of the Find Your Pace is the fabric and the rise of the Find Your Pace. And then they have, of course, other details that bring in the Hottie Hot short element. They do have a built-in lining that's the same color as the short, but this, looks like it would be more breathable because it's kind of like a mesh material. They do have the side pocket right here. And this is what the side of the short looks like. You can see it's not a mesh material like the regular Hottie Hots, which honestly, I like this better than the Hottie Hots. And this is another element that reminds me of the Find Your Pace because the Find Your Pace has the little dots right here as well. The waistband is also a little bit different than the regular Hottie Hots. This is what the front of the waistband looks like. You can see it's smooth right here and it has the ribbed waistband in the back. It still has the draw cord right here, but obviously the regular Hottie Hots, it is ribbed all the way around. As far as the fit goes with these, I really like the fit. I feel like I'm less restricted in these shorts versus the Hottie Hots. Obviously the Find Your Paces are really nice to run in because you have that side slit, but sometimes you just feel too exposed with the side slit. So I feel like this is a really nice in-between short. I feel like I will definitely wear these a lot for running versus the Hottie Hots. So I want to show you the differences when I'm holding up the regular and then the special edition. So this is special edition, this is regular, and I'm just going to show you a really big difference with the waistband. This right here is regular and this one right here is the special edition. So you can see how they're different. And then the back, it almost has more of a rippled effect around the waistband and this is the special edition right here. This is the regular. So you can see the biggest difference right there. Okay, now for which one I prefer. I'm gonna have to go with the special edition. I know that they are a little bit more expensive, but the fit of these is absolutely perfect. I think the fit of these are a lot better than the regular Hottie Hots, and I actually like the fit of these better than the Find Your Pace, because one thing with the Find Your Pace is almost like the front seam, it was not long enough, so sometimes if I brought it up too high, it just did not look flattering, but with these, I feel like it is absolutely perfect. So I really love these. I love the fit. I really hope they come out with black and darker colors. And yeah, this may be my new favorite short from Lululemon. So I can now justify the price now that I've tried them on. They're still really nice quality and I can't recommend these enough. The next short that I have is the Track That High Rise short. These are three inches and I purchased these in pastel blue. And I plan on pairing these shorts with like a white Swiftly or a white tank top, a cool Razorback tank or something like that, or maybe the Invigorate tank. But I really like these shorts. I have a few different colors now and I just did not have this color. I really like these because I feel like they are one of the most flattering Lululemon shorts that I have just because of the rise. These are definitely the highest 
highest rise Lululemon shorts that I have and I feel like that's why I like them so much and why they are so flattering. As far as sizing goes, I always purchase these in a size 6 so I recommend sizing up one size. I wanted to show these. I know I've talked about these before but when I like something I just continue to purchase more colors. So this is one of those items. Moving on to the next item, it is a pair of leggings. These are the Align leggings. These are 28 inches and I purchased these in a size 4. As far as sizing goes, I always purchase a size 4 in the Align leggings so I would just stick with your true size. I purchased them in this like cheetah camo pattern. They came out with this pattern in the 21 or 23 inch legging and I prefer a 25 or 28. So I was just patiently waiting for this pattern to hopefully come out in the 25 or 28 and they just released in the 28. So of course I had to purchase them and I'll hold it up close so you can kind of see what it looks like because I'm not sure you'll be able to see in the try on. But I just love this. I really like patterns if they're very subtle like this. And I also feel like this pattern would go with a lot. I plan on pairing these leggings with like the graphite gray. And I feel like it's just such a great fit. I've actually already worn this fit. The line leggings is my go-to legging. It's a legging that I wear every single day to the gym. I wear them casually. You're only supposed to wear them for yoga, but I personally just wear them for everything. They are extremely flattering. And I have several colors and mine personally have held up really nicely just because I am very cautious when washing them. And I think I just have so many. I just don't wash them as frequently. Um, so yeah, I really like these and I love this pattern. Moving on to the last item that I have. These are called the Soft Stream High Rise Straight Leg Crop. I purchased these in navy and these are in a size 4. They came out with these pants in two different colors and the other color was like a pale yellow color and I just wanted navy because it was more neutral to me. I really hope they come out with these in black. As far as sizing goes, I just stuck with my true size. I do feel like I could potentially wear a six, but I also feel like with this fabric, it may stretch out as I wear them throughout the day. So I think that the four is perfect for me because I think as I wear them throughout the day, they will get a little bit looser. So that's something that I would keep in mind. I'm happy with a four. I feel like you could really go either way. It just depends on your preferred fit. These pants are a high rise fit and I would say they are a true high rise. They have like a little draw cord right here. I love the waistband. I feel like it's so nice. This is what it looks like and you can obviously tighten them with this draw cord right here. This draw cord reminds me of the special edition Ready to Rulu joggers. I have them. If you know what I'm talking about, you're a true Lululemon fan. Um, but yeah, I really like the waistband. I feel like it's very flattering around your waist. They do have pockets and they're really nice deep pockets. They also have a little inside mesh pocket where you can put a key or something like that in there. These are extremely flattering on. I really like this straight leg. I feel like they are very flattering versus having them flare out at the bottom. I wasn't sure how I was going to like the crop fit, but I actually actually really like it. I feel like it makes me look a little bit taller and I'm 5'3". Um, I would also like these in a full length pant. Hopefully they come out with those eventually. These are so extremely comfortable and this material is very soft. This is the pant that you will like live in for weeks because they are so comfortable you won't want to take them off. I love these. I was very pleasantly surprised because I wasn't sure how I was going to like them, but highly recommend them. That includes everything in this Lululemon haul. I always like to mention the two items that I would recommend purchasing first if you can only purchase two items. And the two items I would recommend is definitely the Hottie Hot Special Edition shorts and definitely the Soft Stream pants that I just showed you. I just feel like those are two really nice pieces. Even though I really liked everything in this haul today, I've just really been liking a lot of things that I've been purchasing from Lululemon, but those are the two items that I would recommend purchasing first. Just let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and like always don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next review.